up gear. Have no fear. Auto Wesker. Barry Wilson is here. Okay, when was the last time you changed your oil? Well, folks, chances are it's been too long, and that's why Barry Wilson of Wilson Auto Repair in Garland is here to tell us why it's so important to change your oil regularly. Now, Barry, I know when to do my oil, but believe it or not, there are a lot of people who just don't know. They just keep on driving. Right. I, I think people would be more diligent about changing their oil if they understood why they should change your oil and the importance and the expense involved if you don't. What I brought today were examples of dirty oil, and you can see this is a real dark-looking substance here. That means that the dirt inside your engine has finally turned this oil almost black. It's good writing ink, I guess. Yeah. This is clean oil, and it has kind of a gold or a honey look to it. And when you change the oil on your car, you're actually removing this. Now, why do you want to do that? Well, the reason you want to is because this is full of, of dirt and particles that internally will grind up your engine. It'll wear it out way prematurely. The pistons going right. back and forth. Connecting rods and main bearings, yeah. That wears all that out inside. So changing that out enhances the life and the length of the motor, the life of the motor. Likewise, you want to change the filter. This is just like a filter in your air conditioning unit at home. It, it collects all the debris. This collects all the dirt and, and grime that it can catch inside the engine. Eventually, it becomes full. Can't do any more in terms of cleaning the engine up, so uh, the oil then begins to get dirty. Yeah. You know, I just, uh, I just don't want to change my oil these days, so I go to the oil changing sure. place. And, but sometimes those guys were, are working so fast, they do forget to do some things. What should you, what can you do to check up on them just to make well, sure everything's in the right place? Generally, they, if they get the oil changed and checked all your fluids, then you're in pretty good shape. That's okay. what they're supposed to do, and I right. think most of the time they do probably a pretty good job. But the key thing here is to do that. Now, I brought an example here that, that, that points out that if over 100,000 miles, you'd probably spend around 800 $850, depending on how much you pay for an mm -hmm. oil change. Mm -hmm. And if you neglect your engine and prematurely wear it out before that 100,000 miles and continue to drive the car, that motor could cost you up to $3,000. So there's a big significant difference in the price of an oil change versus the cost that, it, that happens by not changing your oil. Right, and every motor needs its own weight of oil what is the difference? Right. Well, a 5W30 or 30 weight oil simply means how viscous the oil is. In other words, how thin does it pour? 5 meaning a very thin oil. It starts out thin and then becomes thicker as the motor gets hot. And so a lot of the manufacturers recommend like a 5W30 or 10W40 or like this is just a straight 30 weight. But you need to pay attention to your owner's manual because as an example, this pickup calls for 5W30 only. And that's what you're supposed to use on it. So and where you, do you read? You're reading the owner's manual. Does it say on the dipstick, too, as well, sometimes? Uh, sometimes it does, but in your owner's manual, for sure, it's going to tell you what kind of oil to use, weight-wise. Any brand is, is okay. Okay. Anything else there?